John Fink here from Gamer HQ. Uh, now this isn't going to be much of a tutorial because I've actually already created the install notes uh, that will walk you through installing the Unity engine and the PS Vita SDK. This is more or less just to update and give a new place for uh, a new link to all these files since the only video that I know that was up for this is now dead. Uh, because all the files are, have been lost to time and all the stuff and taken down. So I'm going to share the Google Drive uh, in the description. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to download all of these files to, a des to your desktop or to a location that you can install from. You'll start by, I start by uh, installing the SDK first. So you'll unpack the SDK to your C drive or your D drive or wherever you want to put your uh, developmental tools. Once you've unpacked that, you should have two directories, a PS Vita directory and an SDK software directory. You're going to want to install all of the tools in the install, uh, software, SDK software tools installs directory. You don't really need all of them, but if you're going to be a serious developer and you need all the options that you have for battery monitoring, USB support, and all that other fun stuff, then you might want to install all of them. Uh, you'll set your environment variables. You can do this by clicking the start button, going to search and doing typing variable, clicking the environment variables and what you're going to want to do is under your you can either do it as a system variable or you can do it as a user variable. If you set it as a system variable it'll be good for everybody. If you do it as a user variable it'll only be good for that one user. So we're going to set the uh, SCE PSP2 SDK directory and we'll you'll place the directory, you click new, you'll set the directory to be wherever you set the SDK. The SCC root directory, you'll set to where you installed all your SCE plugins, uh, or applications I mean. Once you've done that, we'll go down to now we'll start installing Unity. Uh, so you really want to start with the Unity download system because it's going to download the bulk of all the application uh, especially with tutorials and samples and all that other stuff. Second, you'll install the Unity Setup 64. This is going to be your editor. And finally, you'll install Unity Setup PlayStation Vita support. Um, Unity Tools is actually an application that was developed to convert your packaged uh, game into a, an, into a VP, VPK. Uh, so with all that, 